Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on to all my double dippers out there, man? And welcome back to another Madden 18 video. And uh, today we're just showing some of the packs that we went ahead and got today, man. If you see the title, you will see that we pulled not one, not two, but three limited edition lane years. And um, the luck was definitely pretty good today. We even got 95 Moss. And um, I'm just going to had like 61 legend, ultimate legend packs and like almost 100 game changer packs. I pretty much just opened up all of them uh, right there. Bam! There's the first one pulling a limited edition lane here. Now, last week was Munoz. We pulled him. We pulled. Uh, did we get Blunt when he first came out? I honestly do not remember. I don't think we got Blunt. But uh, this is definitely back-to-back -back weeks where we were able to pull uh, the limited edition. And uh, I'm not sure how much better the cards can get from here. So even after I ended the stream, I opened up the rest of the packs. I was going to save them. Um, and I end up uh, just opening them up. And I actually pulled another 95 Randy Moss off stream that you're not going to see here. So we actually pulled two of them. And that card is going for something along the lines of like 1.3 the 95 moss it's really 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 expensive it's obviously the most expensive card uh, in the set this one right here we went ahead and sold if you guys seen the video earlier you guys seen that um i pretty much bought all the ultimate well not all of them but majority of the ultimate legends that i have already i bought them again so my team is worth according to mudhead uh, along the lines of 17 million coins and that doesn't even show value for the power-ups that i have all the power-up cards that i have the coin value of that is zero so it's not actually showing like you know the 97 team of the year power up for landon collins is probably like two million coins worth of cards that went into that so it's not even showing stuff like that but um so I, I bought a bunch of the ultimate legends i already have just so i can get the toughness chemistry and bam there is number two there's limited edition number two in the second actually the first round and uh, that was actually within five minutes of each other of me pulling uh limited edition cards this one right here though we actually kept because again we are doing the uh speed squad so uh, we're going to keep this version. We're going to have two different lines. We're going to have the Lizard Squad, the the Speed Squad, where we're going to have, uh, you know, have some fun, half players with a plus two uh, speed, and, you know, see how they do, man. And uh, so that right there definitely helps us out, even though we pulled it on our farm account. And I tell you guys all the time, this account does really, really, really well with the pulls, like really well. Most of my good pulls have been on this account, which is, uh, you know, I don't know what it is about this account. And we actually get a 92 Momo, which I think at the time was going for like 60, 70 K or something like that. Uh, so two limited edition pools within five minutes of each other. It's definitely pretty insane. Uh, I wish they would spread the luck. Like it was nice getting one. All right. And, uh, you know, I would like to see them, you know, more spread. I already got one. Let somebody else like there's no need. Even though I opened up a ton of packs. There's no need for me to get three of them. You know, like I see on Twitter, some people getting two of them, like literally two of them in the same pack, which is wild. You know, like spread the love, man. Somebody pulled one, give somebody, you know, to somebody else. I mean, I'm not complaining. I pulled three of them, but you, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, and then this was streamed on Twitch. I was streaming on YouTube for quite a bit, just trying it out, seeing how it goes. And uh, I think we're going to get back in the swing of things of uh, streaming back again on twitch and uh you know probably streaming on youtube here and there you know um but uh we're primarily gonna, probably going to go back to twitch for uh the live streams or if it is something that i uh wanted i could stream both simultaneously at the same time but uh you know i think we're gonna you know head back to twitch primarily for the most part um outside of the limited pools man um the uh packs that we opened today I, I would like to think we did pretty well you know we got a ton of 94 overall ultimate legends we got 93s 92s 91s uh we got a lot of them like a lot of them and you know you can just see we're getting you know really good uh pulls that go into the sets now 
again, I'm really thinking like how bad, how much better can the cards really be? Because that Ed Reed is monster right there is the topper of 95 Randy Moss. The stream went nuts because this card is really, really, really expensive as of now. Outside of full legend Randy Moss, I think this is the most expensive card in the game. Um, you can probably buy full Ed Reed for about what the price of this card is going for right now. At the time we pulled it, um, the card is stupid expensive. And, you know, I pulled two of them, you know, which is wild. So uh, the other topper, though, was 93 Bettis, which goes for like 30K, which uh, doesn't go for much. So from here, you know, there's still some ultimate legends that they have yet to release. Like, I think um, we could possibly be getting a Brian Dawkins. We could be getting a um, Lawrence Taylor, which I think is going to be monstrous. Uh, I don't. I doubt they're going to do Mean Joe Green because they have a Super Bowl 97. I don't think they're going to go from 97 to 98. Knowing EA, they could, but I don't think they will. And there is our third Ultimate Legend Limited Edition pool. Both of them, uh, last two being... Uh, toughness now i thought because of toughness chemistry adding plus one speed for tier five that it was going to raise the price of it certain cards went up a, you know a handful in value but uh this limited card did not uh the most expensive card for the lane year is the um physical front like that one is like 200k more than what the other ones are going for which is uh pretty wild but i think it's wild that we actually pulled three limited editions uh, that right there was definitely uh, pretty dope. Uh, yeah, so uh, Brian Dawkins, I'll be looking forward to. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, now, 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 you know, I think we can look forward to seeing 98 overalls when it comes to Ultimate Legends. And they definitely started with a bang. And also, you see that we pulled a veteran card there. They're throwing flashbacks and veteran cards into packs now. So you can just pull a full flashback. I pulled like three of them today. Uh, none of them were like really expensive. I think I pulled the um, uh, Kerrigan, Ryan Kerrigan. I think I pulled like three of them. The flashback cards I pulled were all the same. I think they were like all Kerrigans. But um, I've seen other pictures on Twitter where people are pulling full flashbacks. It's pretty dope. So uh, what Ultimate Legends are you guys looking forward to again? Uh, they're going to be 98s from here on out, minimum. And um, like, uh, see, I don't know if we're going to get like a DM because he has a 97. So I don't know if they're going to come out with a 98 DN because how much can he really improve? Uh, Night Train Lane is going to be phenomenal. Uh, Lawrence Taylor. Who else? Uh, John Randall. Maybe, you know, uh, if he ends up getting one. Uh, I think they can do a Reggie White because they dropped the 96 Super Bowl of him. So I think, uh, you know, 90 from a 96 to 98 plus two upgrade, there's some room there. But the plus one upgrade, like I, I don't see them doing a mean joe green like just one overall upgrade i don't really see them doing that like i don't see them doing a jerry rice either from a 97 to a 98 um but uh who else i'm just really now that moss and reed were dropped i'm just really looking for uh lawrence taylor uh who else oh oh mean joe i mean i mean joe green uh too tall jones but he has a boss battle so i don't think he's gonna get one um richard dent should get one and the richard dent legend that came out earlier on the year you could still use today and get great success with that card like that richard dent is phenomenal looking forward to that uh there's uh dan marino still there's like randall cunningham uh, i'm really trying to think who else nobody really jumps out as like oh my god i can't wait for that card really besides lawrence taylor uh there's like kevin williams and rando but both of those like eh you know not really looking forward to those guys um i mean that's about it you know i'm not sure how much longer we have until like like is positional hero still a thing like when does that drop I'm not really sure <laughs> not really sure but uh i think the uh cars we're gonna get from here are gonna be pretty damn dope uh expensive definitely expensive like the last few weeks the eric allens the ronde barbers they were 500k you know within five hours of them being released that moss is you know probably going to be expensive for a little bit uh the same for the ed reed so uh definitely 
uh, you know, know that if you want some of these newer cars, oh, Renfro is going to be uh, expensive too because his 95 is like pretty damn good. But uh, let me know in the comment section who you guys are looking forward to. Um, and again, man, appreciate you guys who uh, were able to check out. I wasn't even going to upload, uh, you know, a video, but I think, you know, pulling three LTDs is pretty dope. That is, uh, I think, the first time I've ever pulled three. I've pulled two before. Last year when Sean Taylor came out, uh, I pulled two of him. And I think that was the first time that ever happened until uh, this year. I pulled uh, a few limiteds, I think, twice. Uh, separate occasions, I think. But, uh, yeah, three uh, limited edition pulls. Uh, even though you only got to see 195, I did pull another one off stream. So, 295s definitely had some great luck today. Look, uh, Hopefully, you guys are looking forward to uh, some gameplay tomorrow. It's your boy, GS. We're getting lucky in these streets. Until next time, peace. Give it to me, baby. Yeah.